hello guys welcome to today's video by trust stanley and this is a ts tech talk video guys on today's video i'm going to show you guys how to live stream on your youtube channel even though you have not reached the youtube requirements now um when you're trying to live stream on your youtube channel it actually have a requirement that you need to reach um previously it was one key subscriber but i think recently they have actually reduced it to 50 subscribers so you need at least minimum of 50 subscribers to be able to live stream on your youtube channel now um this particular channel right here currently have zero subscriber let me show you guys so you can notice right there it has zero subscriber and then i only uploaded two videos because um i use this video for tutorial so um to uh start a live stream first you need to go to um, studio.youtube.com and then also you need to download this particular application called streamlabs so go ahead and type in streamlabs.com and then open the streamlab and download application for the version of your device this is the application right there automatically it displays um windows icon and it's going to download the windows version for me if you are using a different phone it's going to automatically dictate it if you are using a different laptop now, if you have um, downloaded it and this particular um, YouTube is open, now the next thing you need to do is come over here and then open the application. Download the application and install it and it should be around here. This is the Streamlab application. So just click on it to have it open and it's going to load up and open Streamlab for you. It's actually taking some time, but do not worry. It's going to load up and open. So I'm going to wait for it to open. All right, guys, so um, <clears throat> this is actually how it is placed right now. And everything has loaded up successfully. And most of the time, if this is not your first time of loading it, it actually displays different thing. But because this is how, um, this it has been several times since I've loaded it, so this is actually how it displayed. Now, um, you notice the option I selected is to display my screen. Now, let's assume this is actually not available because um, all of these is actually going to be removed. You can remove them. And if you are just loading it for the first time, um, nothing is going to be here. So um, starting a live stream for your first time, um, this is actually the only thing that will be there. So you need to come to this area, click on add source, and then go ahead. Um, I, I always like to choose this first one, the alert boss. Click on the alert boss and add source. And then I'm going to leave it on default to be alert boss. And then, um, it's going to show you some settings i like to leave everything on default and then i'm just going to say close and then um also i will want to reduce this and then put it by the left hand side of the screen that is actually the alert box that shows you when somebody subscribe or comment and then i'm going to click a plus icon also and then um if you're actually recording a game you can actually choose different stuff if you are recording your browser choose different stuff i'm going to explain this later on but right now i'm going to choose display um capture so it's actually going to display the desktop for me. Um, if you want to record a game, you can choose this option and it will ask you to choose a particular game. So I've selected display capture and I'm going to click on add source and then um, just leave that on default. That's actually the name. You can change it if you want. And then this right now, I'm going to leave it on automatic. So close that out and it's going to be there on default. And then um, when you want to start your live streaming, the thing you need to do is to actually come to this settings area this settings area click on the settings icon on this um bottom right just before your um um start icon you notice where it says stream right click on the stream option and then you notice um i'm currently logged in into this account so i want to log that out this is actually not the account i want to live stream on and then click on yes so um it's going to log me out and it's going to give me a different interface so um it's still showing the same interface but you might notice the difference you might not notice the difference but actually some things are here before so click on the settings icon once more and then it's going to load up and click on the stream settings and then right now if you're on the stream setting um on default uh, manually you can actually select your particular um settings you notice it says um streaming um settings right now um that is on default and then under this area on default you can actually select if maybe if you are already um reached the requirement to live stream just go ahead and select um the normal youtube and then log into your youtube account but because i'm actually not um reach the requirement i'm going to choose this particular options that says youtube rmps 
YouTube ROT MPS. That is actually the option. So when you choose that particular option, it's going to ask you for your stream key and it's going to, um, there is supposed to be a URL, but, um, for some reason, I'm not seeing the option for the URL, but, uh, there's supposed to be stream key and URL. Let me see. This is correct. So let me go ahead and add a stream key. Come right here. Click on this settings that says, um, click on this icon that says, um, go live. Click on that and wait for it to load. It has taken some time. All right. So I just opened it and this is actually the option it displays here. So I have to click on start now because I want the live stream to actually start right um, immediately I started. And now you notice it says um, no setup required for that and then requires additional software and overlay. And that is actually what you have to choose. This second option, if you choose this first option, it have to be um, your camera. But if you choose the second option, then you can live stream making use of this option I'm showing you guys right now. So wait for it to load up. It's going to take some time to load. And then guys, if you didn't see this option that just display right now, that means probably you have clicked on that before. And all you need to do is to go ahead and click on this particular section right here. And it's going to load up and displays the information for you. So I'm actually going to wait for it to load up. It's actually taking some time because my network is a bit slow right now. So, um, okay, it's still setting up. Don't worry, it's still setting up. Okay, guys, um, it has finished setting up and this is the pop-up for every new user that is actually starting um, to record for the first time. So I'm going to choose this um, not meant for kids, this particular option right there. Um, and then I'm going to click on save and then um, it's going to save that up for us. And also there are some option you can choose there is still advanced option for you to restrict some certain age that is if that is what you want but um i'm okay with this so click on save and once you save uh, this is actually my stream key so all you need to do is to copy but if you want to see the stream key just click on this um icon right there and it will display your stream key so come right here on um, the settings section of your stream lab and then go ahead and enter in the stream key and then um, on mobile, um, I will have to enter in. I will have to enter in. Uh, on mobile, I will have to enter in the custom URL, but for some reason, it's not showing the custom URL, and it's also taking some time too. So let's wait for it. So after pasting the stream key, go ahead and click on done, and it should actually confirm and show some activity but if it doesn't show that um, you can actually go ahead and click on the live to see if it loads up and then um, if it doesn't load up any information right there and you can also notice on the bottom section it always gives some information maybe if there is some issue um, trying to go live you are going to notice it and then if you come right on this particular area it's actually going to show you if you are live because you notice right now it says um, connect streaming key and now it has actually connected and you notice it says um signal is excellent so our live stream is actually live but the issue right now is that it's actually black right um nothing is displaying on our screen and i think that should be from this area that should be from this area it's actually not displaying our capture for some reason i do not know but this is actually how to live stream you can notice it's actually going live and then I'm actually going to discover what actually went wrong and then I'm going to tell you guys. So if you go to the YouTube, um, the main YouTube area, you can notice that it's currently live. Hold on. Um, let me refresh. All right. So you can see right now that I'm currently live and it's working fine. So guys, this is all I want to show you on today's video. Um, this is actually how to live stream even when you have zero subscribers. So, um, I hope this video is helpful. If it is, please smash like and subscribe to the channel for more video. I will see you on my next video. Please stay safe and peace.